Hi everyone and welcome to this reading on the subject of surprises to look out for in February. So I have three piles here, just focus on the crystal or the number that you feel drawn to. Number one, amethyst, number two, rose quartz or number three, adventuring. And I hope you enjoy your message. Bye. Okay, so if you picked pile number one, the amethyst pile, let's see what February, what surprises February has in store for you. Okay, so first of all, we have pay attention, notice repetitive um, signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. We have hello from heaven, we have birthing the new, oh that's exciting. Okay, and uh, we have yes, your intuition is correct. Take action. So act accordingly. Um, so just looking at these, my sense about this is that as you've come to this reading at this point, you might be doubting something, a plan that you're hoping to go ahead with, something that's been on your mind for a while, possibly since the end of last year is what I'm feeling intuitively. And you're being reminded to just have a bit more faith in your own intuitive sense about what's right for you in your life, what you're capable of manifesting and what you're capable of actually carrying through in the physical sense. So be, um, you know, just have a bit more faith in your, your talents and your abilities and your skills and your manifesting ability as well. Trust your ability to bring this new idea, this new plan, this new scheme into manifestation on the physical plane. For some people, it will be a new offer that comes in, a new job, something that you've been waiting to hear about. For some, it will be the beginning of a relationship or, you know, someone you've been waiting to hear from. Something coming in that is just going to take you by surprise in, in your belief of whether it was actually ever going to happen or not. It's something like that. Also, for some, it means that there's something that you've been nurturing for a long time, that you've been taking care of, you've been incubating for a long time, you've been bringing to full term, if you like, you've been honing it and polishing it. You know, maybe for some people, it's a, it's a work of art, like a painting or a series of paintings. Maybe it's a, something musical, maybe it's something theatrical, maybe it's writing, but it's something that you've been crafting, I'm hearing crafting, and moulding and shaping and it's coming to a point where you might be surprised to find in February that actually you're ready to take it out into the world, you're ready to let people see it, you're ready to let the world have it, have access to it. So yes, you are right in terms of the timing especially if you're thinking February, March as well for some people, you know, springtime, birth, energy. And you're also being asked to pay attention to any synchronicities and signs that you might have seen that confirm this for you. For some people it will be numbers, for some it will be other signs like feathers or synchronicities, people just saying something at the right time. So I feel whatever this is, it's very guided, it's very divinely inspired and orchestrated and you might have begun to see signs recently that this is something that is waiting to come in and you need to just not hold your breath so much and just breathe and trust that you can actually birth it now, that you can actually bring it into the world. So what else have we got? We've got prosperity. Wow. What an amazing card to have with birthing something new. You've got the King of Pentacles, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, great, really exciting. So you have this sense of having worked very hard on something, having prepared something for a long time and wanting to be able to just sort of sit back a bit and enjoy the fruits of your labour. Maybe things haven't been coming in quickly enough for you to be able to do that or maybe, you know, once again, you haven't really had the, the belief that it's actually going to, that what you love, what you've been working on, what you've been crafting is actually going to be able to bring that abundance in for you that's going to allow you to have a little bit of time off. So it could, it could be that things have been quite 
quite intense for quite a long time in terms of the effort that you've had to put in. The Seven of Pentacles, you've been, you know, waiting, watching, wondering, you know, when is the right time to harvest this? Or when are all the things, all the hard, when's all the hard work that I've put in going to actually start to pay off? When am I actually going to be able to reap the rewards of what I've been creating? And that time is coming. And February, you could see very big indications that that time is about to arrive. So with prosperity coming along with all of these pentacles, you've only got, well, I've chosen two tarot for each spread, for each uh, pile, and both of yours are pentacles. So there's a really clear indication that, you know, you've got things in really good balance. Up here, you've got all the cards that are about inspiration, receiving divine guidance, birthing something that's from your heart and your soul, and, you know, the, the, really, the divine spark within you, the divine inspirations right up here at the top where you know symbolically i suppose that would rec uh, that would uh, represent the crown chakra or you know everything from the heart upwards and then down here you've got prosperity and you've got your two pentacles so what that seems to be saying is that all of the creative, artistic and spiritual work and the inspiration that you've put into something, all the obedience that you've had in following your true path, in following your intuition, paying attention to the signs, allowing yourself to be guided, all of that is about to bring you the stability, the stable base that you're longing for that will allow you to do more of this in the future, that will allow you to have a little bit of time to rest and recuperate and to also do things in, in a more measured way rather than feeling that it's effort, 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 endless effort and nothing coming back. So February, I feel that for this group, if I could sum it up, that would be the main thing that's going to surprise you, that either you're going to actually see a physical manifestation of that, although I feel that's coming more end of February and into March with, with the birth of physical things, things on the physical plane. But I feel in February, you could get a surprise in noticing that you're thinking differently about things, that the signs are coming in to show you that you're on the right path, that you're beginning to actually have offers coming in, possibly people making suggestions, wanting to collaborate with you, wanting to point you even more firmly along your path. So it's as if the universe is going to be saying a big yes to all of your plans in February and that is going to allow you to start building more material stability in the months ahead that will just allow you you to have a whole new spurt of growth and if this is about a relationship it could be that you put down roots somewhere that you settle down or that you decide to take something to the next level in terms of where you're actually going with this relationship in the physical sense in the practical sense so it might be that you um, move in with someone or that you just decide that you're actually really interested in taking the relationship further and, and seeing it as something very serious and committing to, to a particular person. But for me, this really feels much more like a career reading. It feels like a career reading. It feels like a, a spiritual growth reading. It feels like a big pat on the back from the universe for doing something exactly the way that your heart told you it was right to do it and you're also you've also got hello from heaven so there's someone in spirit actually watching over everything that you're doing and guiding you and I feel like for this group there's someone who's really proud of you as well really proud of the way that you've handled yourself possibly in a difficult situation is what I'm feeling really proud of how you've come through all of your challenges and all of your growths and your various ascension learnings, you know, lessons and, and changes and upgrades and the endless things that you felt tested over and really proud that you've been true to yourself and that you're about to start seeing the rewards of everything that you've done. So that's it for group number one. I hope you enjoyed that and all the best of luck in February. Have a great month. Bye. Okay, so if you chose group two, the Rose Quartz, let's see what you've got coming in February. So you've got Empowerment, lovely. Um, 
clairvoyance interesting what's your thoughts you've got dimensional gateway and invitation very spiritual spread this is very interesting all right we'll come to those in a minute so i feel that for this group your big surprise in february is going to be around noticing how much your thoughts are influencing your reality so i feel actually this is going to be a really powerful month for you to step into a new reality the reality of your choosing i feel that for some people watching this you are ready for a really big shift in consciousness in other words you really feel actually consciously aware of the fact that you want to now truly let go of everything that's been holding you back keeping you in a place of pain and limitation for a while keeping you in a place of feeling that you can't have what you want you can't manifest your reality and i feel that you're going to be getting some surprises of a spiritual nature in february that will actually show you how to create the reality that you want okay so i feel that you're going to actually see things you've got clairvoyance so some of you will actually already be seeing things you'll actually already be uh, being given things in dreams by your guides you'll already have noticed things uh, that your awareness things about your awareness that seem to be sharpening up your your psychic gifts your psychic awareness you'll notice that there have been more powerful nudges and for some of you you'll feel as if the guidance is, is thankfully coming back in after it seemed to have been shut down for a while. And what you're being reminded of is that the guidance doesn't shut down. It's us who shut down when we get to a place where we don't believe or we lose faith or we can't trust anything anymore we get to a dark place where our guides can't necessarily get through to us and we can't necessarily see clearly i also feel this is where what your thoughts comes in it's a reminder that you can make a decision every day and in every minute that things are going to be better that things are going to be great that you're going to be able to see clearly your way ahead however difficult it's been however challenging the path has been up to now this is a month of empowerment this is a month when you take back your power by changing the way that you think <laughs> just just to sum it up you take back your power by changing the way that you think and spirit will be with you helping you archangel raziel says i'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love it's also i felt so that you could see heaven on earth so that you can start to see the life that you dream of again so for some of you this might sound like a weird thing but i feel like for some of you you've gotten to a place where you your thinking has changed because you've been under attack or because you've been in the wrong energy you've been um, around a lot of negativity either from one person or a group of purple people or a stuck situation or something and I feel the toxicity built up and it feels as if it's something that could have started around the Christmas period and carried on through and I feel you're still clearing it you're still bringing yourself back to a place of positivity and if I was to offer any guidance I would say make sure that you've had a really good energy clearing after whatever happened in Chris, over Christmas, over the holiday period. But also, this group, probably very sensitive looking at these cards. So I would say with so much weird stuff happening in the world and so much negativity in the news, it might be a good time for you to have a news fast to at least really really limit the amount of news that you listen to and if you listen to it and you you realize on some level that you're even if you're not aware of everything you're absorbing something something's changed in your your consciousness you're finding it just hard to be your old positive self do a regular at least daily at least once a day good energy clearing so you know whatever whatever you do to clear your energy and watch your thinking come back to its old positive set point because it's very easy for us to get thrown off and I feel as if your main, the main message that you need to hear actually is that you can get help with this you can get help with taking back your power and changing your thoughts 
by reaching out to your guides and asking them to help you to clear your energy, using visualizations to clear your energy and asking them to keep your energy clear as well as you move into what's going to be a very important period for you. So you've got dimensional gateway, so you're already also an interdimensional, multi-dimensional traveler. So, you know, if you go to sleep feeling great and you wake up feeling awful you know you need to clear your energy every morning or get into the shower immediately or whatever it is you need to do to just wash away the night whatever you've been doing you know we go on all sorts of missions at night and do all sorts of things and you know just make sure that it's not not something to do with that or the 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 energy of fear in the consciousness settling on you settling into you you know most most people who come to these readings and you know channels who do work like this are empaths are quite sensitive so you'll be picking up stuff without even realizing it you could be picking up that energy without even being aware of what's going on in the news so just make sure that you stay on top of that and once you're able to get yourself back to a place of positivity, I feel this is going to be a, a period of huge spiritual growth for you. So the surprises coming for you in February are going to be around your spiritual growth and your thinking and how those things come together to help you to create what you really want. You haven't lost the picture. The picture of what you want is still there. It's just that you need to wipe away all the other stuff, all the stuff dust and grime from your consciousness that is uh, shielding your view, it's obscuring your view, okay? So work on that, your vision will come back and you'll manifest very powerfully, I feel, in March, okay? What else have you got? You've got moon cycles, so be aware of any hormonal changes as well and how they might affect you, they might affect your energy, they might affect your thinking. If there's anything that you need to have checked or anything that you need to take, any supplements or herbs or anything that you do to make yourself feel good, make sure you're back in tip-top condition by the end of February because I feel March is going to be really interesting. <laughs> really exciting and I can feel that this is the ten of cups because I know, <laughs> I know that sounds like a weird thing I don't mean psychically but I've just memorized that it's that card that's got it's anyway it's I know it's the ten of cups and I just felt this wave of excitement when I felt that because it makes absolute sense with what we've just said about March and how powerfully you're going to be manifesting. But let's focus on February. Let's focus on the here and now because the important thing for you to do is to change your thinking again and, and grab, snatch it back, I just heard. <laughs> snatch that dream back from the darkness. <laughs> Take it out of there. Wash it off, cleanse it, clear it, do whatever you need to do to raise your vibration again because it hasn't gone away reclaim it. I just heard someone say hallelujah, sounded like a guide. And you've got the Wheel of Fortune right next to the Ten of Cups. So an incredible period of happiness, of change, you know, good fortune, of of abundant emotional fulfillment. And this could be from a connection, but it could also be from the things that you're manifesting. If you are actually um, manifesting a connection and that is actually what what you're hoping for not a particular person because that's not what we do that's not manifesting that's dark if you are opening your heart to connecting with um the divinely ordained counterpart for you at this time i feel that that is something that could also be helped by sorry i was distracted by my timer there something that also could be helped by shifting your vibration back up. So you raise your vibration to the level of where that beloved one is and you're going to attract the right sort of energy and partner in anyway. So it's really important for you to do this work in February because at some point you are going to get a really lovely surprise as a result of your change in thinking. Just because you've thought a certain way for a long time, just because being around certain people has always brought you down in the past, that doesn't mean you can't get back up again and it certainly doesn't mean that you can't dust off those dreams and make them happen. Okay? I've, because this is the time. This is 
definitely the time. It's been a tricky old start to the new year, but there's every reason here for you to be able to cast off any doubt and uncertainty. Use the cycles of the moon as well if that helps you to manifest your creations, to help you to empower your creations. Um, and just trust that you can go forward now. Take your power back and go forward. Okay, that's great. I hope that helped you. Group number two, you're more powerful than you realise. It's safe for you to be powerful. Go forward and I hope you enjoyed that reading. Bye. Okay, so for group number three, the adventuring group, let's see what you've got. What surprises are coming for you in February? So you've got, first of all, oh my god, this is incredible. These are actually all really good. Well, we haven't seen all the cards yet, but these are all really good so far. Really good, these, all three of them. Make a wish, which is what we want in February, isn't it? We want things to be great, you know, people are going to be all loved up. There's going to be a lovely love energy. It's been a weird start to the year. We want some good things now. So make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. You've got Breathe, Archangel Raphael you've got dragon strength wow amazing I just want to um, say quickly actually just while that card has come up just a quick reminder to send our thoughts out to China to send our thoughts out around the world in a really positive loving and healing way Okay, and that's all I'm going to say because I don't want to dwell on anything. All right, so and, <laughs> thank you, my guides are saying, and stay in a place of positive expectation. Stay centred, stay in love and stay in absolute certainty of the world that you're creating, the heaven on earth that you're creating. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so we have make a wish, breathe, dragon strength. You, What you want is closer than you think. It's a breath away. That's what I'm feeling looking at this. I feel that for some people in this group, you are actually regathering your strength after a period of... This is really weird, but I'm going to say it because I heard it. And it won't apply to everyone. But someone really needs to hear this, and that's the important thing. I heard after a period of brutality, this could be emotional, mental, or, you know, just the world kind of messing with you for a bit too long, or, you know, a tough spiritual awakening, or long dark night of the soul, or some kind of entanglement with, you know, uh, a tricky situation or person or thing, because this strength is actually this dragon strength is gonna lift you out of all toxic energy lift you out of any kind of assault that you may have been under okay and um, yeah it's about finding that power again within you finding that fire inside you that gives you that fire in your belly I just heard that gives you the strength to just say okay that was then this is now you know I'm infinite I am I'm powerful I'm deathless okay and to just breathe and pick yourself up and make a decision and make a wish because I feel that your surprise in February is going to be that you actually get something that you want. <laughs> and for this group, I'm, I've got a feeling almost as if this group is going to be thinking, when do I ever get anything that I want? I just feel, you know, that, you know, you, need, you might want to look at that attitude, first of all, because it might not be helping, said with love. And, you know, we can all go there. <laughs> Believe me. You know, I'm not preaching to you. We can all go there. But I just feel that for you at this time, this group, it's really important for you to believe that you can have something that you want, something that you wish for, something that you've been dreaming of for quite a while now. And, and to believe, yes, it is actually me. And also, they're drawing my attention to this unicorn horn. And I feel that some of this is going to mean focusing on one particular thing because that has actually recently become a symbol for me of focus singular focus and I just feel like I need to pass that message on to this group that the thing that you really really feel and know in your heart is the thing that you should focus on now the main <laughs> it's probably just popped into your head the main thing that's you know 
that you're constantly being distracted from possibly I feel that's the thing the thing that's in your heart you know I feel that's the thing that you need to focus on and that's where the wish is going to come through in that particular area of activity okay so sorry just bear with me I just didn't set my timer okay so I want you to just have faith that you can actually do it that you that it can actually good things can happen for you even you good things can happen for you okay so let's see what else we've got oh my goodness you've got soulmate relationship around the valentine's period and right next to the make a wish card so i feel for this group that could be your wish you could be you know the group that's actually mostly wishing for a divine connection and the card says new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now so you know there is a period if you have had to rise up from something toxic and and horrendous you know there is sometimes a period of adjustment of healing of changing your vibration of you know trusting again believing again that things can be beautiful and powerful and, and love can be eternal and divine and sacred and i feel that for you february in february that could be the surprise and that could either be that you realize that you've come through all of the pains and hurts of the past and you are ready to trust again or it could be that you're in a connection and you realize that you're ready to open your heart and trust again <laughs> or it could be you know just what, take it however it resonates for you but I feel you're either going to open your eyes to a spiritual connection that's in your life and see it as, as the divine, sacred, beautiful thing it is, or you're going to walk away, let go of the past, heal, and, you know, feel strong enough to actually be open, realise that you still do believe that that is possible, that something beautiful like that is possible, and that it's possible for you. I'm not going to tell anyone, oh yes, the relationship that you're in or the person around now is that one. That's not my responsibility. It's for you to know. But I do feel that there's awakening in an awakening in the heart that comes as a result of the strength to rise up again, to breathe. Also, there's a lot of green in this card, which does make me think of the heart chakra. And we've got Archangel Raphael on this card, which lets me know that there's a healing taking place and probably a healing of the heart. So, and I actually feel as I'm talking about it, I can feel tears at the back of my eyes, tears that, you know, some of you in this group are still wanting to shed and to really release the past through you know let let that stuff out of your body now once and for all rather than letting go being in limbo hoping for another to give it another chance or to be given another chance you know thinking it's going to change it's not going to change i feel in february you will accept that and the surprise is going to be that you realize that there is something much 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 better for you okay so You've also got creative writing. So those of you who are writers, this is going to be a very inspired and um, creative period for you. And for some of you, it's just going to be a really, really good time for you to start journaling out your feelings. So even if you've never used that practice before, it can be really powerful. Two things that can be very powerful for you if you're healing from something very toxic and hoping to really get it out, let go of it and shift your vibration are meditation and journaling together. So meditate, see what comes up, see what rises up, see what patterns you need to release, see what, what information your higher self or your inner child or your, you know, just, just, the universe, your guides, your angels, see what information comes to you or through you in meditation and then journal. And, you know, don't look for answers because they might come from your head, but trust what your heart is feeling. And if you really don't feel you can trust a connection with guides or, or be neutral enough or objective enough to do that yet, just write your feelings out. Just write it all out. Everything that you've noticed about yourself and about the past and the connection and the, the difficulties you've got yourself into. Everything that led you to believe you can't have what you wish for. Everything that's led you to doubt yourself or life or love. Write it all out and then write. And then when you feel that you've really gotten it out of your system, 
write out write about what you would like <laughs> write about this relationship write about this person what qualities do they have you know how do you feel when you're with them what um, what is an absolute non-negotiable for you now what have you learned from previous relationships what you know if you've become hyper vigilant what has that hyper vigilance taught you about what's important to you what signs do you need to look out for in the future you know what what makes you feel good what would it look like what does real love look like to you what does it feel like if you don't know, you know, do some research, research on healthy, really healthy relationships that you might be able to find and, and see what they look like and, and have a feeling of, you know, how do you write, how do you write about something that you don't necessarily know what it is? You know, how do you find it? So look for it and trust your heart to know what it is. And if you have to use, well, I know it's not this. You know, use your past experience to inform, you know, all the things, allow all the things that you got that you didn't want to inform you of what you haven't got yet that you do want. OK, so, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. So what else have you got for tarot? Oh, my goodness. You've got the nine of cups and you've got the seven of wands. OK, so I feel that there is still going to be a little bit of a period of doubting yourself doubting your thoughts doubting you know what what you think about whether it's a, a wish in career or whether it's to do with um, attracting a divine connection i do feel that you're going to actually have some doubts about whether you deserve this as well i think that there there will be things that will will test you that will will demand of you that you change and I think it's going to be a wonderful journey this time though because you've got the nine of cups right next to it which it can mean indulgence it can mean overindulgence but it can also mean getting a wish it can mean wish fulfillment so you've got two cards about making a wish and I really would urge you to not let that wish be about a particular person because as we said at the beginning okay it's not it's not manifesting if you do that it's you know everyone has the right to their own free will everyone has the choice to to choose you or not choose you and everyone has the right to choose the person of their choosing so don't be fixated on a particular thing because it might not be the best thing for you i feel it's turned time to shake off the shackles of anything that doesn't liberate you and lift you and fill you with joy if there's any question about whether this is really love or do I really feel it? it you know it's time to let that go and to move into a real love connection so yeah just just let go of all expectations because I feel as if what's coming for you is sort of beyond what you can even imagine at the moment so just, you know, the more you can surrender and allow yourself to be guided and to trust and to let go of things that are actually not for your highest good and that you know are not for your highest good, the more quickly you'll heal and be surprised by just something just, you know, outside of your experience that just takes your breath away. I come back to the breathing card. So it's another interpretation of that, isn't it? It's something that to totally takes your breath away right next to the make a wish card and in the middle of all these great cards. So I do feel journaling is going to be very important for some people. For some people, if they are writers, I feel that they could get a surprise connected to their writing. It could be something you didn't expect to hear about someone you didn't expect to hear back from or it could be a reminder that you know you can write the future that you want you can write the future that you want and you can write down anything but it really is a question of making a wish and believing that that wish can be for you no matter where you've been how things have been up till now all right so that's it happy february group number three i hope you enjoyed your reading this i feel is going to be quite an incredible month regardless of of all the things happening around us i still think there's a lot of hope and um yeah take care i will speak to you again soon i hope you enjoyed that and feel free to 
have a look at my website and check out my readings and um, if you'd like to work with me on you know have a reading or do some healing work and um, you know anything else energy clearing anything okay great so take care and I'll speak to you soon bye